So these guys, they are diving for sea cucumbers, and a sea cucumber looks like this. Do you eat it? Why we can't eat? You can't eat! <laughs> I couldn't get the dinghy down. We had a glitch in the uh, system, the 24 volt and the 12 volt. But uh, Gerben and Jenna are awake now as well, so we're going with the four of us back to the island. We have to sail non stop through Greece, or are we gonna go to Cyprus? I am Rihanna. And I am Gerben. And this is our son, Benjamin. 2020 has been a year of adventures and challenges. We drove all the way from Amsterdam to Didem, Turkey to get to our sailing home. We did a total refit and now we can finally start sailing around the world while setting up and expanding our businesses. Join our adventures and welcome on board. Look again, and we're gonna drop anchor and let's see if the holding is good enough for the southerly winds. Otherwise, we go further north to Jalikavak. Probably, we're gonna meet Gusha here again because it's Saturday and Sunday, and there's a new curfew here in Turkey. They're not allowed to move, but here it should be fine. So, let's see. we're looking for a place to stay yeah. because there's coming some rough weather yeah there's coming some uh, strong wind stormy weather stormy weather so we left Pork Island towards this bay it's a big one this is the north of Yaligavak Yaligavak so we're gonna have a shelter over here it's beautiful it's only one boat here and I think it's Chan the owner of Yardworks Good morning. Morning. We survived a night with uh, 40 knots plus wind. 
Yes, so the boat was really swinging behind anchor, but we found a beautiful spot behind a hill, so we didn't have the full blown. No, we were very lucky with finding the spot. And what we always do with the. Um, we, we put marks, what you can see here. The red ones was when it was starting to blow really, really hard, and the blue ones were, yeah, with 30 knots and the red above 30 knots and then you can see we're uh, expanding our range a little bit because the chain gets a little bit tighter but yeah we all held pretty good yeah yeah so we had um we, we put the anchor alarm on 80 meters it was 81 82 yeah and sometimes it went off during the night so yeah then we were a little bit out of the, the circle of the, of the range yeah. Yeah. because you can't fix it when you drop the anchor you have to push the bottom but it's never exactly at the same position as your anchor is grabbing so there's always yes. a little sp yeah, space so between what the circle is and what the real real point. circle <laughs> yeah and today today we are going back to the Turquoise. marina Turquoise. Yeah, and this is gonna be the last time because yes. the cables arrived the ca yeah, yeah they we, we just got a message from Ray Marine <laughs> From the Netherlands, and they say, ah, the cable should be there. We got an invoice, so uh, thanks, Harold, for all your yeah. work yeah. during. Uh, and all Ray Marie, you're uh, amazing helping us out. And then this week we are, we will be ready, and then we're going to set sail south. <laughs> She's yeah. gonna help Gerben with yeah. uh, picking up the anchor. Yeah, I'm here to translate the signals from Gerben into words so that uh, Jenna knows what to do. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, models said it was around three o'clock it should be around 20 knots of wind so for us that's not a problem to go into the marina but now it's still blowing 30 35 knots of wind and we are close to the marina so let's see so I'm checking out the conditions inside the marina and if it's uh, doable and safe to uh, to moor over there and I think with the help of Dave Marine uh, it will be fine so we furled in the Genoa because uh, it was a close reach and the wind was picking up and not stable so up to 40 knots and uh, so the last miles we got a motor. Sailing on perfect sense, sailing boat, 18 meters long.
So we are preparing to leave. Benjamin and I made a drawing on the envelope. That's where the money goes for the children's library here in Turku Drives. Yeah, Jenna left. And we finally got the cables for all the marine systems, the marine systems. So that's all hooked up right now. It's all one operating system. We're set to sail. Only one small hiccup left again. Our uh, inverter broke down. Yes, Turkey doesn't want to leave us. So yeah, the inverter broke down and we have to wait for the new one. Still, but I turned the engine on and it didn't sound good. It sounded like something was wrong. And uh, Ger was checking now everything looks like we have some uh, fuel problems. But uh, Gerber can explain better than me. Engine is uh, not running smooth. And when you give a lot of RPM, it drops down. So I think we have uh, fuel and I think there's some dirt in the fuel. So I'm gonna take it out to the water and uh, fuel separator and let's see. So during the refit they uh, they changed the filters and we didn't have that many hours but we also cleaned the tanks and but we didn't clean the um, the lines between the tanks i think the problem is this it's not that dirty but it's it's dirty so i changed the filter um got all the dirt of the diesel and water separator and now i'm gonna put some new diesel in and then uh, hopefully the engine runs smooth yeah. so curious about the filter because we had a diesel bug and now we are three weeks later and the summer started so the temperature is high not only in the engine room and i think it looks quite okay so we did some uh, deep dive into uh, diesel buck. What is a diesel buck exactly and how did it came into our system? And probably because we were using the engine a lot during the um, uh, in cold weather and then there is some condensation forming into your diesel tanks and that's uh, where it probably started. It can, uh, it can cause a lot of problems into your engine when you have the diesel buck and especially if, if you have to repair or to replace uh, your fuel pump or your injectors get uh, get clogged and the only thing we did so far and it really helped was putting this uh, this stuff it's 80 euros per liter and you can use it for 5000 liters of diesel and we're not going to use that much for the whole season because we sail a lot but it really scares me a bit when um, what, what what kind of damage a diesel bug can cause and uh, i'm glad we were uh, we were there in the first phase and how you can recognize it is by um, by poor starting or when your when your engine is not uh, performing that well or you, you don't get it high in RPM. So when your injectors are are stuck or your fuel system is uh, is stuck. So moment of truth. Rihanna, can you start the engine? Yeah. Ah, it's working. And can you give a little bit of throttle? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. If you can hear it's running smooth again. Okay, we're going to the fuel dock. And uh, because we tied up the whole dinghy and otherwise I have to untie it everything. And now uh, I'm gonna fill up the tanks, put some 
anti-diesel bug stuff inside because it was a little bit slimy I saw. Hey, slaap them. Hello. Ready? Yes. Okay. Okay? See ya. Thank you guys. Oh, chai. Chai. Yes. And you sir? Yes. So bye bye to good guys. Thank you for your hospitality. But this was it. We will not come back. So uh, we just furled the Genoa. We have a backstay wind. We're going south. Just waiting for the inverter to come to install it and then the world trip will start. It's, it's an amazing feeling. This were our final days in the in the marina and we really love to be in the Day Marine Didem and Day Marine Tour Good Guys. All the staff they are amazing and friendly and everything is well organized. So uh, thank you guys for having us. And now live behind Anchor really starts. So we have Greek network, so we can start downloading the Navionics charge. So let's see. So we have to keep sailing along Kos for two hours and twenty minutes again. So just before we anchored, uh, we downloaded the Navionics charge and we put it inside and look at this. Very happy and it was really helpful for anchoring and we are here anchored in a beautiful bay. The sun just went down. Benjamin didn't sleep so he is very active. Benjamin is looking for the moon. He's always looking for the moon. When it's full moon, he doesn't ah! sleep. Ah! Okay, so now we have to fight, is it? Yeah! Yeah, we have to fight! You will run! Hey! Stop, stop, you're not there! This morning, Benjamin and I recreated a a campfire on the beach so just before the sun will set we're gonna light up the fire Benjamin it is actually a special bay we shared it already with our newsletter subscribers so the motor didn't start smoothly again <laughs> <laughs> 